Welcome to the Drew Rice Show. I'm Marky Bilson, brought to you by Neighborhood Ford, from our neighborhood to yours, Neighborhood Ford. Head coach Drew Rice, uh, the Unicoi County Blue Devils come off a 27-14 loss to Happy Valley. Open-ended question, what went wrong? Well, you know, the slow start finally came back to bite us. Uh, you know, we talked about that after the South Green game and, and the Sullivan East game both. You know, we, we got down in both of those games and, you know, found a way to to win those games, but uh, like we like we kept saying, you know, eventually that's going to catch up with us, and, and it did. Um, that and the uh, you know the turnover uh, turnover difference was I think was you know kind of really hurt us. Um, that you know in our first three games we had zero turnovers, and Friday night we had three. So uh, you know turnovers are part of the game. I mean even you know even the best in the world are going to turn the ball over, but um, you know we we just can't have. Uh, that many and certainly, you know, at, at such terrible times like we had on Friday night. Well, I wanted to also talk, you mentioned uh, slow starts. It seemed to me that this also occurred against South Green up the middle, stopping the runs up the middle. That was a problem, it seemed, all game long, taking nothing away from Dakota Cochran, the outstanding fullback of Happy Valley. Uh, but that was a problem against South Green in the early going. What are you going to do to try to fix it? Well, you know, that, like I said, you know, that's, uh, we've, you know, we've looked at it and we've, uh, you know, we take a whole lot of pride in, in our preparation and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, our week of prep. And uh, I feel like our coaches do a great job of, of getting our guys ready and, and seeing what we're going to see on Friday nights. And, um, you know, that, I guess that's the million-dollar question. Uh, you know, we, we made it a huge focus the, the North Green week to have a great start. So that's kind of been our, you know, our focus this week. And, um, you know, just like I said, the slow start, and, you know, especially against good teams, you know, it's just uh, you just dig yourself in a hole. So we're, uh, we're going to try our best to avoid that. And, uh, you know, like I said, we've, uh, we feel like we're well prepared this week. So we're going to have a long road trip, and hopefully we'll uh, uh, have a much better start this week. Well, Claiborne County is the, or excuse me, it's the Claiborne Bulldogs. They're no longer Claiborne County. I, it's easy for me. We don't have two teams named the Blue Devils anymore. But uh, uh, Claiborne comes in. They're a banged up team. They're one and three. When you look at them on the film, what do you see? Well, they run, uh, you know, they're on a split back veer, which you know, a lot of not a lot of people run anymore. Uh, and they're and they're pretty good at it, you know. And that's. Uh, uh, I, I'm very familiar with that offense, you know, because that's what we ran in college. But, um, you know, they, they do a good job at it, and, uh, you know, you don't see it a whole lot. So when you, when you do have to prepare for it, it, it's, it can be tough, you know. So uh, they, you know, it's a, it's a three- and four-yard mentality, you know, and they're, they'll, if it's fourth and two, they're going for it. Um, you know, if it's fourth and four, fourth and five, they're going for it. So it's a, it's a little different brand of football. But uh, last year I thought we did a good job against it. So we've, we've watched that film. Um, you know, obviously along with this year's film, you know, of their games and things, and, and we feel like we've got a good game plan in place. Well, let's talk fourth downs. Uh, I know Shane Armstrong, last report, was healthy. Is he going to come back as punter, or is this still uh, Noah White's job? Well, they're, it's, it's, they're probably 50-50 right now. So, we, you know, we made a call Friday. Uh, Noah was kicking pretty good in, in warm-ups, so we, we went with Noah just because he had been in there. And, of course, that was Shane's first game back, too. And we said, you know, hey, just worry, just worry about, you know, playing defensive tackle tonight, and, and we'll kind of – increase his responsibilities as it goes. So I think there's probably a decent chance you'll see Shane Punt tomorrow night. We're going to take a break right here on 1420 NBC Sports Radio Tri-Cities. It's the Drew Rice Show brought to you by Neighborhood Ford, where remember they are having a huge giveaway this entire month, including two tickets to the Tennessee-Florida game. Neighborhood Ford from our neighborhood to yours open tomorrow from 9 to noon. Back with this on 1420 NBC Sports Radio Tri-Cities, WEMB Irwin. Welcome back to the Drew Rice Show, brought to you by Neighborhood Ford. The injury situation seemed to be a healthy team against Happy Valley. Uh, what is the injury situation coming into Claiborne? We're pretty healthy. Um, you know, I, I think last week, you know, Cody played, but... Um, if you watch that game, he, he didn't – I don't think he was quite at 100%. So he's, he's had a great week of practice, and uh, we think he's, you know, probably pretty close to 100%. And, uh, you know, we've got some small things, just some minor, you know, midseason stuff that's just going to happen. But overall, I'm very pleased with our health so far. So we, uh, you know, going to try to keep it that way. And, um, you know, and like I said, that's, that's a huge part of it. You know, once you get in the stretch here, you know, 
games start piling up, practices start piling up, and uh, you know we've been practicing for over two months now. So the the grind of the season kind of really sets in. So if we can stay healthy, that's going to be huge for us down the stretch here. Are any players out for today's game? No, sir. No, sir. All right, there you go. Now I know Brock Thompson last week one touchdown pass, three interceptions on a couple of throws. Yeah, there were drops, but there was also some lollipop on uh, some of his throws. Where is he right now as a quarterback? He's only a sophomore. The future, yes, is bright, but there is those lollipop throws. Uh, are you trying to eliminate them? Yeah, you know, he had three Friday night, and, and we said after the game, you know, uh, you know, my watching the film and even Friday night, we kind of felt like one of those were probably on him and the other two probably weren't. Uh, the the one there at the end, the real bad one there, where just you know nobody's in the rain that in in the vicinity of it. That was uh, that was kind of miscommunication between uh, him and, and you know one of the receivers. So that's you know wherever that blame falls, it really doesn't matter. You know it's it's still us messing up. But um, you know and then the one in the first half, we felt like you know that was arguably a pass interference call. The one on Brett, you know where he falls down and and the safety mm-hmm. comes over. So. Uh, you know, he was just putting it up like we've coached him to do. And then the, the very last one, you know, where he just kind of pits it out there, he was trying to make a play, you know. And at that point, yeah. you know, we were down two scores. So, um, you know, it was when he gets that situation, he gets a good defense like that against a team that brings pressure like that. When you get down like that, it, it's tough, you know, because they know you have to throw it and, and they kind of pin their ears back. And, uh, you know, we, we tried to set them up with some screens and things and, and had some bad drops. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, and, and you know we've watched the film, and, and we've tried to wash our hands of it, and we're glad to uh, get to play and get this taste out of our mouth. Now, I know also extra points here. Three and one, we're going to harp on the negative here, but there have been a few missed extra points uh, over the course of time. You want to get the kickoff. A second and a quarter is when you want to get the kickoff or else it's in risk of being blocked. What are you trying to do to improve your kicking game in that regard? Yeah, well, you know, the the North Green game, we was, you know, we really struggled and, um, you know, we were like, golly, do we need to, you know, what do we need to do here? And, and we made that a focus last week and, uh, you know, Martin was two for two Friday night. Mm-hmm. So that was, that was good to see. And, you know, when we were sitting there in the fourth quarter up 14 to 13, you know, mm-hmm. we're, we're sitting there telling these guys, you see why these extra points are, are so important, you know? So, uh, we, we felt like we improved there. Um, uh, and he had a good week of work last week and, um, you know, I feel the same about this week. So that, that's a huge part of the game. And, you know, that's, uh, we always try to avoid, you know, just minimal stuff like that. And uh, but yeah, that's that's certainly a focus for us. Going, getting back to uh, Brock Thompson here, uh, left tackle. You've started two this year. What's your situation like at left tackle? He's obviously the guy that's uh, got Thompson's back. Yeah, you know, uh, Michael Harrington started the year there, and then uh, you know Drew Keesling, who's a senior for us. Kind of, you know, they, they went back and forth, and, uh, you know, Drew can kind of play anywhere. So it's kind of been the same situation this week. We've been kind of rotating some guys there in and out, and, uh, you know, it's going to be one of those two guys. But, uh, you know, Drew can step down and play guard too. You know, that's that just such a hard-fought game last week. You know, guys are, you know, just laying. They, uh, you know, as bad as, you know, as of a loss as it was, I feel like our guys really laid it on the line, you know, after the game. I mean, they're just, you know, physically killed, emotionally killed. And, you know, and that – um, you know, you hate to see it, go, you know, in that way. But I was proud of how our guys fought. So, mm-hmm. you know, and as hot as it's been too, the, the, you know, the heat still, you know, it's still very much a, a factor. So we're just trying to, you know, keep guys fresh all we can and, and rotate guys. And you know, Justin Pike that plays left guard for us, he plays a whole lot of defense. So. Uh, we're just trying our best to keep guys healthy and, and, and fresh, you know, throughout the game. And, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, our depth that we've got that, you know, some people don't have the luxury of, you know, in the third and fourth quarters can make a difference for us. But you're saying right now you haven't made the decision at left tackle between Keesling and Harrison? Yeah, Drew will probably start. Uh, you know, Michael, you know, Michael, you know, he started all last year and um, he's uh, – he uh, he was sick last week, and, you know, and he says he says some things going on there. But he's you know he's back to 100. percent So we'll see. He, they're both going to play, um, and like I said, Drew can play kind of anywhere on the on the offensive line, including center. So we'll just kind of spot play it as it goes. But yeah, Drew will probably will start tomorrow night. One thing you mentioned was the heat, but both teams have to play in it. Yeah, exactly. But there isn't going to be a two-hour bus ride. Now you know me; I'm not big on home field advantage. You still, wherever you got to play, got to block and tackle and throw straight and all that. And frankly, if somebody's yelling at you, you just got to be able to handle that. But uh, is there any concern about a two-hour bus ride? 
Well, you know, we break it up. Uh, we're actually going to leave tomorrow uh, about 2.30 and, and go eat um, on the on the back side of Johnson City uh, and, and have our meal there and try to dig into that trip a little bit, at least cut it down to an hour and a half or so, and then eat, and then we'll, uh, we'll eat and then head on down and give ourselves plenty of time when we get there to stretch our legs and things like that. Yeah, that, that is a challenge. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, somebody's got to do it, and that's, uh, that's a part of the game. And, uh, you know, the... Still got to line the ball up and kick it off and block and tackle and everything else. So we just, uh, like I said, we just try to trust in our in our preparation throughout the week. And, you know, when Friday gets here, it's just, you know, it's time to go play. The Drew Rice Show brought to you by Neighborhood Ford. From our neighborhood to yours, Neighborhood Ford. I'm Marky Bilson. You've been listening to The Drew Rice Show on 1420 NBC Sports Radio, Tri-Cities, WEMB, Irwin.